वेलकम टू एन सी आर टी क्लास वाई चैप्टर सेवन कैन यू सी द पैटर्न पार्ट टू लुक फॉर अ पैटर्न पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड थ्री मार्क दैट पिक्चर विच इज ब्रेकिंग द रूल ऑल्सो करेक्ट इट नाउ दिस इज अ पैटर्न विच इज गिवन एंड इन दिस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट विच इज ब्रेकिंग द रूल वी हैव टू टिक दैट and also we have to correct that okay children now let's start which is breaking the rule this is breaking the rule why see here the circle is top then it's coming down as yes or no the whole image is turning down it again top down up again it should be here down as yes or no so how the image should be up down like one and half up down up and this should be down and again up understood now let's go to the second one now here umbrellas are given see this umbrella is facing this side then it has taken one fourth turn here then from here one fourth turn here one fourth turn here one fourth turn here then actually one fourth turn it should come down so which is wrong in this this one so which is the correct rule one from here one foot turn here again it will turn here again it will turn here again it will turn here again it has to turn down not up because this went anti clockwise yes or no from here it went one foot third degree sorry one foot turn anti clockwise it should come clockwise and then this side okay children now the next one here different ways you can see in this ma here the bird is facing up 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 and again down up down so which is wrong here this and here you can see in different ways like these three birds are facing up if someone is seeing in that pattern then these three birds should face down as yes i know that is this bird should face down so if you see in that pattern that is also right but see up down up down up down this is a actual pattern which we have to keep it here and what turn it is half turn as yes or no one half turn it is taking so the exact image is up down up down up down next in this image you see here carefully first this diamond shape is there then circle is there then triangle is there and so no and next what is happening this triangle is coming out the circle is as it is and this diamond is getting inside again see diamond circle triangle triangle but what happened here actually it should be circle here also circle is there and then diamond but here what happened it got changed circle got changed so which is the wrong image this is the wrong image so what should be the rule triangle and then circle and then the diamond shape children now magic squares page number 103 do you remember magic triangles yes we did in our fourth class do you remember the magic triangles now come let's make some magic squares fill the square using all the numbers from 46 to 54 so what are the numbers we should use 46 to 54 between those numbers only we have to use and fill the square and also there is a rule that the total of each line is 150 now you are remembering which we did in the fourth class yes so the square which is given we have to fill it with numbers from 46 to 54 and the total of each line let it be row or column if you take it should be 150 now this is the box which is given ma for example see you can take any number here here you can take any number but the total should be 150 if you do in this line also it should be 150 and if you row in a row wise also if you do how much it should be 150 means if you add this row also it should be 150 if you add this row also it should be 150 this column also it should be 150 any column if you take the sum should be 150 and also the number should be from 46 to 54 
okay children now it is given that the total of each line is equals to 150 now let's take the third row why we are taking the third row first ma here only single number is there so it's difficult for us to find both the numbers in this row also if we see single number is there so we'll go to the third row because here two numbers are there and we know the total of this row is 150 so can't we find out this one yes so if i consider this as x okay now i considered this as x this i considered it as x so x plus 52 plus 47 is equals to 150 yes so no children so now 52 plus 47 7 plus 2 9 5 plus 4 9 so 7 x plus 99 is equal to 150 now this plus 199 it goes that side what happens it is minus 199 so 150 minus 99 that equals to 51 understood children all of you till here so here you got the answer as 51 here we got it as 51 now let's take the first column now in this first column we know the two numbers yes you can go in your own pattern now wherever you have the two numbers first like this third column has two numbers first so 49 plus some y plus 47 equal to 150 so add this both subtract from 150 you will get this yes or no? for example if i say five chocolates are here five chocolates are here and total i am having 20 chocolates so how many chocolates will be left to place it here 5 plus 5 10 yes or no total i told it as 20 in 20 i have placed 10 chocolates so more how many chocolates I have to place 10 understood the same pattern we have did here now let us take the first column from the rule if i consider this as x x plus what x means unknown number ma plus 46 plus 51 equal to 150 so x plus 46 plus 51 is 97 equal to 150 so x equal to 150 minus 97 that is 53 so this we got it as 53 now let's take the first row now 53 plus x plus 49 equals to 150 so 53 plus 49 is 102 plus x equal to 150 so that is 150 minus 102 that is 48 understood children now let's take the second column 48 plus x plus 52 is equal to 150 directly also you can do so 48 plus 52 is how much 100 so 150 minus 100 then we'll get it here as 50 understand now left out is this column 49 plus x plus 47 equal to 150 so 49 plus 47 is 96 so x plus 96 equals to 150 so if it goes there minus 96 then you will get the answer as 54 now you add any column any row the total would be 115 understood children now fill the square using all numbers from 21 to 29 the total of each side is 75 now before they gave here and there one or the other number now they are not giving you any number the box is given to you directly and they ask you to fill it with numbers 21 to 29 you can take any number from 21 to 29 and the total of each line is 75 like that there they gave us 150 now total of any line should be 150 for example this you can do according to your creativity you can start with 21 22 23 any number you can give it and you can start so you can do by your own just a sample one i'm doing here now if i take this number as 21 and this number as 25 this is my own consideration i'm taking children you can take anything you can take 21 29 22 23 anything but the number should be between 21 to 29 then follow the same process 21 plus x plus 25 equal to 75 so x is equal to this if we had what happens 21 plus 25 20 plus 20 40 41 41 plus 5 46 so 75 minus 46 that is 29 so i'll write here 29 now next one i've taken somewhere else as 29 so this how we'll solve 75 minus 21 plus 29 is 
9 plus 1, 10, 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 50. So, 75 minus 50, 25. Understood children? Now, here I have taken it as 25. So, how we will get here? 25, 25 is 50. So, 75 minus 50 is 25. Now, this one. So, 29, 25. I know both the numbers. So, 29 plus 25 is 54. So, 75 minus 54 is 21. Here, 29 plus 21 is equals to 20, 40, 50. So, 75 minus 50 is 25 or like this also you can do. 25 plus 25 is 50. So, 75 minus 50 is 25. Now, magic hexagons. Page number. Sorry children, I have not written the page number here. I will write it in the description. Look at the patterns of the numbers in hexagons. Each side has two circles and one box. Each side is having what ma? Two circles and one box. Yes or no? One square box is there. Two circles are there and one box is there. Every side you can see that. Two circles, one box. Two circles, one box. Two circles, one box. Two circles, one box. The rule of this method is we get the number in each box by multiplying the number in the circles next to it. For example, 5 into 13. Here, 5 into 13 is how much? 65. So, we are getting 65. Next, 5 into 14. How much we got? 70. 14 into 7, 98. 7 into 10, 70. 10 into 2, 20. 13 into 2, 26. Understood? So, rule. What is the rule here? It is if you multiply the numbers in the circles, we are getting the number in the box. Now, look at the number 65 in the box. Which are the circles next to it? Next to it is 5 and 13. So, how does the rule work? If we multiply it, we will get the answer. Now, use the same rule to fill the hexagons here. Now, they are asking us to use the same rule. Hexagon means how many sides? Ma? Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many sides are there in hexagon? First, 6 sides. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 6 sides. So, hexagon means how many sides? 6 sides. Now, let's do. Here 11 is there. Here 9 is there. So, if you multiply both, what should come here? 99. Understood children? Now, here 11 is there. Here 6 is there. So, 11 into 6, 66. Next one, 6 into 17, 102. 17 into 7, 119. Next, here is a question mark for you. Here you don't know what is there in this circle, but you know these two numbers, yes or no? So, what is that? This number we don't know. Multiplied by 9 gives you 108, yes or no? So, children, I will take the pen once. Here we don't know what is this number, yes or no? Here we don't know the number. So, but what is the rule we have seen? If we multiply these two numbers, that is 9 into, we don't know whatever number is that, then we will get the answer as 108, yes or no? So, then how we will get this number? So, 108, if I divide by then this is multiplication so if it goes outside then it will become divisions so 9 ones are 9 and carry 9 to the 18 so you'll get the answer as 18 understood children how we got that so there we go out the answer is sorry what is the answer we got 12 okay now is it easy for you to find here 12 into 17 so next one is 12 into 17 that is 80 4. Did we complete all the boxes now? Now the next one. See which one first we can find out. You only check out which one we can find out first. Here we don't know what is this. So similarly what we have to do? 104 divide by 8 we will get. Because if we multiply these two we are getting this means if we want the circle what we will do? This one divided by the number which is given that is 104 divided by 8. So that is 13. So, what we will get in that circle? 13. Now, next one. Here we know these two numbers. Yes or no? So, 8 eights are 64. Understood children? Now, next we will find out this one. 78 divided by 
13 that is 6 if you want the circle 1 we have to divide if two circles are there then to find out we will multiply so here comes 6 here it's easy 6 fours are 24 now here what you will do we don't know the circle so we have to divide 64 divided by 4 that is 16 next 16 into 8 128 understood it was easy if you practice this it will be easy children okay so practice the sums and then we will meet in the next part till then thank you